Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl in Bless 7 and I'm back with a video you guys. I'm back to share with you this wig that I'm wearing. I picked up another wig at my local beauty supply store and you know I couldn't wait to share with you guys. Um, I was out looking for something a little bit shorter. But then as I was looking around I come across this one. Got another long wig. I was really looking for something shorter because it's getting hot. And for, in order for me to continue doing my protective styling, and I prefer doing all of my protective stylings, wearing wigs or either maybe a sew-in. I had never had a sew-in before, but I would do a sew-in. And I usually make my wigs, and but lately I have been purchasing wigs. And I picked up a couple of them from online and then I've gotten several of them. I'm not going to say several, but plenty of those from um, my local beauty supply store. So yeah, I'm um, going to go ahead and share with you what I picked up. It's the Is Is Red Carpet Premier Lace Front Wig. And I did share with you guys one that from my previous video um, by the same company. Is Is Red Carpet Premier, and this here is the style RCP 704 Iris in the number two. Two, because it's a dark brown color. It's not really uh, a black. It's a number two, and you can go online. They have a, a online website, which is www isishair.com and I will have that site in the description bar below and it's um, an import wig. It's where you can part it anywhere on any size and wear it the way you want to wear it. You can do it without the part. Uh, it doesn't matter but you can just part this. It says it's two times natural deep side part. It's hand tied and then, um, and it says import multi part. And you can just, either side you can part, part it on. But I really hadn't parted on either side. I've just been wearing it mainly like this. And I got it to wear to a, a wedding. And so uh, I got lots of compliments from this wig. You know, and they thought it was a, a sew in, but no, it's not a sew in. And I'm just going to show you some pictures of it here. And this one here, they had different shades uh, in this wig, different uh, beautiful shades. And some of them on here, you, they got it available in the number one, number one B, number two. So this here is the one that's the SR2 slash 613 gold and it's that one and this one here is the SM4 slash 27 slash 30 and that's that one there and this top one here is the 66R this is the shade here and what I like about the wig, it's very um, lightweight and the density is not that thick. It might be a little bit thicker than the one that I shared with you guys in my previous video on my straight wig. It just may be a tad bit thicker than that one. But the cap, oh it fits perfect and it has combs all the way around. Well, when I wore it to the wedding, I didn't use the combs up front. I just only used the combs in the back. I don't know. I have this thing where I don't really care for the combs in the front because I don't want it to bother my edges. And then I make sure that I leave my hair loose in the back with the cornrows so that I can just kind of stick the comb in there uh, slightly so it wouldn't damage my hair in the back. So yes, this here is the wig, and it's a it's a gorgeous wig. It just has some little loose curls in it. I think the curls I had more curls than this, but you know I can't I can't curl this, and it's I think it's synthetic hair. 
yeah, synthetic hair. I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys some of the um, multi-part functions, the benefits of this wig, and it's sharing the deep side, the, the deep left side part, then the push back, and then the deep right side part. And this the only, this one thing that I do like about it because you're able to do more things with the wig. You know, instead of wearing it on one side, you can also part it or either just make, have it going all the way back. And you know, I can just put it all the way back and have me a, a cute, um, like a scarf or something going around it. If I don't want to wear it in my face or anything like that or either put it in a ponytail or something like that. Yeah. So far, it's... it's it's okay when I first tried it on it was shed so bad I'm talking about it was just loose shed and you could just pull hair out of it but if, uh, eventually it stopped and so I hadn't had any problems with it since then every now and then I do get a shed it's not a lot not like when I first tried it on it was it was shedding like crazy I mean crazy crazy on the day of the the wedding day, it was it was crazy. I mean, the shit is so bad. But after that, I hadn't had as much like I did at that time. And it's very flowy, and and the thing I like about it is because it's so lightweight. And you know, and you know, guys, I did mention that in my previous video, uh, how I um like just a a small amount of density you know I don't care for a lot of hair uh, just big hair in my previous video on that straight wig I did mention that I didn't care a lot for the high density in the hair I uh, this here is just about the amount of density that I would go to I, I don't care for big hair so this is mainly what I will consider the the density of hair that I would like I'm not sure what the density is in it um, I kind of went online trying to find some more details. So what I'm going to do guys is share with you a picture here so you can see how long this wig is. It's a good length. It's maybe right at bra strap length. And I just love the flowy of it. So you guys, um, yeah, I'm excited about this wig and I'm just going to do a review on it once I've worn it for a while and let you guys know how the wig turned out. And if any of you guys have any suggestions on what I should do for the wig when it kind of tangles in the back of the neck, what do I need to do to um, kind of prevent that or try to um, eliminate some of that, please leave your comments in the section below so that I can, you know, find out some kind of way. Because you know what I do? If, if the wig gets that way, I end up trashing it. So I'm trying to hold on to them as long as I can. But yeah, if you have any suggestions for me, please leave them in the section below. And so guys, I want to thank you for watching. And don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like this wig. And you would love for me to do more um, wig videos. And I want to thank you guys again. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.